Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. Hello, I'm Ash. Who, yes, every time loves being yeah. on video. I'm so, <laughs> we're visiting a deal that we did in our early days. Yeah, that one there. The top, <laughs> the top floor. Top. Uh, so this is a house that was already divided into two flats. If I'm getting, there you go. Sorry. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> this is a house that was already divided into two flats and we bought the top maisonette, didn't yes, we? Yes, that's right, yeah. How, where did, we got it from an estate agent, didn't we? Yeah, so it was through an estate agent. It was a repossession. Um, I think it was a landlord who had gone bust, quite possibly. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a rather untidy layout for a flat, really. It was just a bit, Bit old. <coughs> Bless Excuse you. me. Sorry. So um, yeah, so so we bought it uh, from an estate agent, and I think fortunately, despite it being a repossession, it was fairly you know f straightforward to to purchase legally. I yes, think. it was. Um, I don't remember any hassle at all. Mm. We did it as a buy to sell, uh, and um, we s we bought it for 120. 120. Um, we spent how much on it? I think it was about 13. And the main thing that we did there, um, it's a maisonette, so that means the kind of upper two floors, if you like, and so there's a, a room in the roof, and mm. it's really weird. We actually knocked out the toilet that was in the middle of the... It wasn't an ensuite, it was just a toilet. toilet in the middle of the bedroom. So we actually knocked that out and didn't have a bathroom up mm. there. And then the other thing, those stairs were those kind of see-through stairs. What, they're kind of like paddle stairs. And yeah. so they're really putting people off because they felt dangerous. I mean, they weren't, but, you know, they felt like you had to kind of climb Everest to go up there. So the main part of the, the refurb was actually um, putting in a new staircase. I mean, I remember in the bathroom, it had those, it had a white sink, but that you know the kind of bits that hold the soap it was actually they were they looked like shells like a shell. i mean it was awful mm. but i was there for saving money so all we did in the bathroom was change 12.99 change the um shower hook thing you know like the shower spray thing and then just paint everything and then even in the kitchen we really saved money just we, change the worktop yeah change the worktop and change the knobs on mm -hmm. the units and then just cleaned everything else and there was always one unit that was just a little bit off center that really bugged me but it didn't bug me enough that i was going to buy a new kitchen um yeah so we were really lucky i was in rome when we got the offer through we got an offer so bought for 120 13 grand refurb and we got an offer for 164 500 remember and we actually said in our deal report 160 so that was quite nice it mm -hmm. sold for four and a half grand over but we didn't end up selling it yep. she was really nice she was a um, nice lady um, but we were doing this with a partner and as the sale was progressing he was taking more and more of his family through to see the property and they were like hey why don't you keep it this is a love it's a great location actually and um, so why don't mm -hmm. you keep this and after two or three or four family members had visited it he phoned me up and it was a, such a sweet phone call he's like Susan, i'm really embarrassed but i'd love to keep it and we're like no problem so all we did was um although we had the jv agreement to buy to sell we clearly established the price one six four mm -hmm. five hundred and all we did was say well we just have the same terms you pay as our share and you get to keep it and he's done great because of course the you know property's gone up a lot in bristol since this is a really nice area so i'm really pleased for him uh, anything else when you think about apart from don't spend money when you don't need to oh yeah um management company we um so technically like you're not really supposed to like or, or want to spend your own money painting things like hallways and recarpeting them when it's a management company but I just didn't have the time mm. I just wanted to have as soon as the person walks in they walk into a shared hallway and then they go upstairs to our flat and I was like oh, I'm moving in a mess around I'm just getting the painter to repaint the hall now technically you're supposed to ask the management company but I can't see a management company disagreeing with you paying for getting the stuff done mm. I mean you can either argue it and spend six months trying to say hey can we get this nice presentation or just get the job done so management company, staircase, saving money in the bathroom, saving money in the kitchen, being flexible with a JV mm -hmm. partner, buy to sell, underestimating your values because it sold for 164, 500 and we said 160. Anything else? Uh, I think it's important to just, um, when you're looking at a property that you're going to just buy to sell, think about the layout um, and see if there are a few, you know, you don't, don't need to be massive tweaks to the, to the layout, but just see what works best and what people are going to going to look for when they come to buy it you know mm. um, and ask some estate agents opinions that kind of thing we did that here didn't mm. we yeah, yeah we did hope that's helpful cool. see you soon. cheers Bye.